Hi, it's Michael here. I wanted to do a quick video update in relation to how you download your contacts from Facebook. What you see on the screen now is the previous version from a video that I did back in April 2018. And we're going to look at what it looks like today. Uh, at time of recording, it's January 2020. So we can see what the difference is and how you now download your contacts. And today, if we go to download your information on Facebook, where obviously you go to the kind of settings tab, and then you end up on this page where you click your Facebook information. And this is where you now go to download your information. On here, it's a very different format um, display and you can only like it was before download the information in an HTML format that's always been the same but you just need to do it slightly differently so you you can choose the date range I suggest for contacts you choose all data the format is HTML medium quality yeah medium that's fine but it automatically selects on the right hand side everything that you have inside Facebook. So you want to first of all deselect all of them, just go to your friends here and then create the file. Okay, so now um, a copy of your information has been created. This doesn't happen immediately. Uh, it might only take a few minutes depending on how big your list is. But um, this is what you do to get it started. Then you will receive this email saying that um, Facebook information file has been requested. Uh, once we finish creating your file, we'll send you another email letting you know that it's complete. And then after that, you see this email which says when the data is available. So now we're going to go back to the Facebook and we can then look at the information that's been created and then how you download it. So we're back on Facebook and they've confirmed that the data is available. So you go back to the download your information page and now you've got available copies. So we've got friends here from July 2007, that's obviously when I joined Facebook, to current date, this is the recording date of this video, and then I'm able to download this file, which by the way expires in four days. So if you don't do this, pretty soon after you get the email, they remove the file and you have to do it again. Um, so I'm not going to download this. So the file's now been downloaded to my download folder. So here's the file, friends.html. It's actually only one of the files because you do get a lot of other files as well, but this is the main one that you need. And as you can see, it's an HTML file, which I can open inside a browser. So if I double click on that, it takes me to the browser. Let me just increase this and it now has all of my contacts and the dates, which is not particularly useful. So the only way to get this data into an Excel spreadsheet is to literally copy it all. So I'm just going to go all the way down, copy the data, and I'll now take that into a spreadsheet. So now I can download the copied information that I've got from Facebook. Uh, which I copied on here and I can take it to a spreadsheet. So I'm just doing it on a Google spreadsheet, but you can do it on any normal Excel or numbers or anywhere else. And I'm just going to post all of that data in the spreadsheet. So everything it's not particularly useful as you can see, because it just comes with the name and then the date, obviously when I connected to these people. So I'm going to sort this data into a format that allows me then to, um, you know, remove everything. So if I um, sort the column by, say, A to Z, 
you can now see I've got a load of I've got all the dates together and I can literally go to the back of that to the bottom of that I can go to the bottom of that and I can delete these rows so now I've got data which are just names okay there's a few email addresses so obviously some people have put their email address into their first and last name which is fine uh, doesn't matter but now this gives me the information that I need in order to then you know go to LinkedIn if that's what I want and find these individuals on LinkedIn but this is a quick update on how you can download the information from Facebook in the new way many thanks